The man who knew America's greatest secret may shut his mouth forever. But before we start, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an upload from us. Also, leave a like right now. Gary McKinnon, the so-called UFO hacker, made the largest military computer hack of all time. America demanded that he be imprisoned for 60 years in Guantanamo, however, he was released later due to a mysterious reason. In this video, we'll tell you what Gary did to receive such a sentence. Gary was a simple child born in Scotland and then moving with his family to live in Britain. On a clear night, when the sky was illuminated by the moon, he saw a bright moving body in the sky. Then it quickly disappeared without a trace. From that moment on, Gary was influenced by the issue of aliens and joined an association in Britain called the British UFO Research Association, or Bureau. Gary believed that the secret behind America's dominance and control over the world lies in her secret cooperation with aliens, and that it possesses advanced technology, weapons, frightening spaceships, and a vital substance that replaces oil, which America doesn't want to show the world except at the appropriate time. Well, I think I'm smelling weed. Although he excelled in studying informatics, Gary didn't look for work and rarely left his apartment. This allowed him to spend sleepless nights hacking the secret files of the US Navy, Air Force, Defense Department, and NASA, looking for evidence confirming the existence of aliens. All this was done using very cheap and modest equipment. He had poor internet throughout and an old Microlink 56K device that made annoying noises. He used to spend his nights browsing through the secret files for two years without revealing his order until the night of the mysterious picture came. Gary discovers that the US research centers had a special post whose mission is to remove all the images related to aliens via their high-resolution satellites through Building No. 8 in the Johnson Space Center. Gary browsed through the files stored on Building No. 8's computers until he found two files titled Processed Images and Unprocessed Images, each of which was filled with pictures, each picture exceeding 200 megabytes. Two questions occurred in Gary's mind. Images, however large they were, wouldn't exceed 15 megabytes. Why was the size of one image in this file 200? The second question was, how would I download an image of this size? Gary opened one of the images and sat waiting for it to be fully downloaded while contemplating every part of it from top to bottom until he saw planet Earth with a long spaceship next to it. Before the image was completely downloaded, he'd noticed the mouse cursor moving on the screen and terminating the computer connection to the network. In other words, someone from the Johnson Center noticed an intruder and immediately expelled him from the internal network. From that moment, America became aware of Gary's activity and began to track him down. On the morning of March 19, 2002, Gary was surprised that the cybercrime police stormed his apartment. America intervened and put great pressure on Britain to hand over Gary to be imprisoned for 60 years in Guantanamo and face charges of causing $800,000 or 487,000 pounds worth of damage to military computer systems. However, and surprisingly, America suddenly decided to forgive him and retreated from demanding his extradition. In addition, the British government stopped pursuing him in court. It's rumored that this decision came after Gary negotiated secretly with America. During an interview with Gary, the journalist asked him if he'd hidden sensitive files in a secret location as a pressure card so as not to be harmed, but he didn't answer her question and only said that he wouldn't disappear and no harm would befall him. So what was the secret that Gary discovered and concealed its details in order to escape the hell of Guantanamo? Thank you for watching. If you liked Gary's story, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos.